My name is Michelle Damji from El Nuco, and I'm one of the Inspire Ambassadors. Hi, and thank you. Uh, welcome Dr. Meyer, Andrea Meyer, she presented today, and we will ask her a couple of questions about her research and what we can do to inspire young high school students to join longevity. So first of all, what is your biggest piece of advice for young students entering longevity? Um, the, the biggest advice to find a mentor, find a good group where you can really accelerate your knowledge and your, your methodologies, etc. So find a group where you fit. That's most important. And accept criticism and try to learn. So it's, it's so inspiring to see you guys uh, uh, here. Um, so I think really find a mentor and not as I did. I, I, I really had a mentor in the, in the first uh, start of my career and I found one and then it accelerates. Um, so in your presentation you were mainly talking about organ clocks and you mentioned that when you can detect the the decline of one organ you may be able to predict the decline of another yep. so say one of your patients you were like predicting that their kidneys or their liver was gonna uh, decline next what would you do um, to intervene in their lifestyle to prevent that failure yeah lifestyle interventions are, I think wonderful because we know that you can extend the health span um, the motivational aspect is a little bit more difficult but what I showed is actually that we can predict what the future looks like with um, a certain accuracy and we don't do that yet so what we need is different specialities of healthcare professionals in the room and actually looking at the data and see okay how do we change that? How can we predict the next loss of function of the next organ? And I think we have all tools together. We just need the willingness to do that. And I think that's up to you. You are the next generation. And to continue about mentors, when you are looking for a mentor, what is it important to seek out? I think uh, a mentor is there to listen because a mentor is not to teach you. So mentors should not be the one teaching how you do meta-analysis or how do you certain regression analysis or how do you do in a fibroblast experiments how much medium you should do that. A mentor is really looking at your personality, your, your, your you as a person and asking questions and maybe you, you shouldn't answer directly, but think about it. So a mentor is triggering um, that you find the resources in yourself to get the best out of yourself. Thank you so much for this interview.